hello, uh, I'm a white woman in a motorized wheelchair wearing a red dress and sweater and a breathing mask, turning 70 in a few months. So much for the doctors who told my parents I'd die by the age of 12. This lawsuit is a long held dream come true for Not Dead Yet. Our 27 year anniversary is this week. As we stated in our first friend of the court brief, filed in 1996 in the U.S. Supreme Court, discrimination against people with severe disabilities pervades our society. Assisted suicide is the most lethal form of such discrimination, applied only to people with significant health impairments. Assisted suicide is the ultimate expression of society's fear and revulsion regarding disability. Those words are as true today as they were then. Assisted suicide is just one of the many symptoms of an ableist eugenic society that believes life with a disability is a fate worse than death, that people with significant disabilities are better off dead. My own medical history and increasing need for breathing technology to survive would lead most medical providers to consider me terminal, terminal. If I became despondent over the daily frustrations of disability discrimination or a new medical setback or typical human problems with work, marriage, or finances, I'm sure I could find two qualified providers to agree that I'm eligible for assisted suicide. I couldn't count on the same suicide prevention that a non-disabled person would receive. While typical people who say they want to die get suicide prevention, under assisted suicide laws, we get suicide assistance. This double standard based on disability violates our civil rights laws. Everyone who dies by assisted suicide is disabled. Some old, some young, some actually terminal, some not. Assisted suicide data continue to show that unmet disability-related needs are at the heart of requests for assisted suicide, with inadequate supports leading to feelings of losing autonomy and being a burden on others. The creeping acceptance and expansion of assisted suicide laws promise increased profits for insurers while threatening even greater healthcare disparities that endanger the lives and well-being of disabled people, especially Black people, people of color, LGBTQIA plus folks, and other mar multiply marginalized communities who already face well-documented barriers to effective health care. This lawsuit is our fight against a society, a health care system, and insurance industry that tells too many of us to give up on living, to hurry up and die. For all of us who've been denied the help we need to live, no. We're not going to lay down and die. We're not dead yet, and we're fighting back.